Welcome back to the channel, in today's video I'm going to show you how to add your own shipping method and also give it a pricing that will be added to the total of the cart before you actually go to payout. If you're interested in this, stick around for the video and let's jump into the code. In WooCommerce we are presented with an option of us actually adding different shipping methods like the flat rate, we can have a free shipping, we can have local shipping, and we can actually tie these to different zones and different names. Now how can I add another option for myself? Maybe I want to add Uber so that someone can choose Uber or someone can choose something like DHL which will give them fast shipping or air shipping which is different from what comes by default in WooCommerce. So in WooCommerce we have local pickup, we have free shipping and we have a flat rate shipping. So how do we add our own kind of shipping method? So let's jump into that. So inside my root folder in my WordPress, I'm going to go into the WP content folder and then I'll go into my plugins and I'm going to start up a new folder which I'll, I'll call it Press DHL Shipping and I'll get the same name and start up another file which I'll call Techie Press DHL. And then after doing that of course I'll start editing this particular file. Now with this file I need to start off with opening PHP, I'll open PHP and then I'll start off what's needed. I'll now add some comments here and I'll add a plugin name which I'll call that Press DHL Shipping and then I'll give it a description, say Press DHL Shipping plugin. So I'll hit save on this, when I come to my plugins and reload, you'll see that we have our DHL shipping right here, so I'm going to activate this. And of course it does nothing, but that will get us starting to write our particular code. So I'll close this page and then we'll just focus on having our shipping methods here and then writing code here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add an action and this action is going to tap into a WooCommerce action which is called a WooCommerce underscore shipping underscore init and that's the hook that I'm looking for. Now the reason I'm doing all of this is because I want to type into the WooCommerce shipping method API and you can see that we are provided with this particular function that we can start with. Now I need to make some callback on my particular plugin, so let me go into that and I'll open up my callback and I'll call this uh, TechiePress shipping init. I'll copy this, add DHL, then add that final piece and then I can start off my other function. So function will start working in here. Now what we're going to do in here is initiate our own class of the shipping method of WooCommerce. So the first thing we'll do is we'll check if this class actually does not exist. So if, if class does not exist and the class we are looking for is going to be called, so the class we shall be looking for is WC TechiePress DHL Shipping. It can be any name but this is what I've chosen to have. So if that class does not exist then we're going to actually run all this code down below. So then if it doesn't exist then we'll add our own class which we'll call that and it is going to extend the WC shipping method and that's all we need to do. So I'll open up my class and then I'm going to start writing code inside that class. Now while we extend the WC shipping method right here and we are making our own class, we need to instantiate this class and run it inside our WooCommerce. Now what we need to do after writing our class or extending this method, we're going to add a filter and what this filter is going to do is add our newly created method and then add it into the existing methods of WooCommerce. So we need to tap into the WooCommerce, we need to have that with double O. So the WooCommerce shipping methods and the WooCommerce shipping method we're going to add the TechiePress DHL method. 
and that is going to be our new function, so I'll copy this, and then I'll start writing this function. So every time we are writing a filter, we know that we get something that can be passed inside our function, and in this case it will be methods, and the first thing that I do is return those methods. Now we can modify these methods without any thoughts coming into our heads. Of course now we are going to get our methods, because it's an array, we're going to have to add the ID of our method. So I'd like to call it the TechiePress DHL shipping, and it will equal to the class of our method. So we're going to copy this, and then I'm going to add it here. Of course this class that we're extending comes with a number of methods, but right now I'm going to use the init method, I'm going to use the constructor, so it will come first here, I'll use the constructor, I'll use the init, and we'll have the calculate shipping method where we add the pricing of our particular shipping method. I need to add public function to this and add it to all these other methods, and then I'll wrap this. Now of course in our constructor we'll need to pass in all our variables, and these will look like this, so we need to get this class that we've made, and we're going to pass in an ID for this class. So we decided that our ID should be TechiePress DHL shipping, so I'll pass this in, and then for our title we shall call it the TechiePress DHL shipping, so I'm going to copy this here, and then I'll add it for our name here, description and say description of TechiePress shipping, we'll add it as enabled, so we can either force it to be enabled by default, or we can force it to be off, and then we can also add the title of this particular class, and this will be passed into our settings, so once we do this, uh, we also initiate this particular function that will pass in all our settings, so let me save this, and in our init method we're going to have to add these settings, so first of all we shall have the WooCommerce init form fields, which is part of the settings API, uh, so we can add our own form fields if we want to, then we can also init the settings, and then we shall have to save the settings of that particular form that we come up with in our class, so let me save this, and then I'm going to come back into the administration area, go to our plugins, I will deactivate this, and then I'll reactivate it, I'll come back and reload this, and if I quickly come back and look at it, this should be construct, not constructor, I'm mixing so many languages here, so I'll come back reload this again, and now you'll see that we have all these options coming in, and we now have the TechiePress DHL shipping, so when we come to it, we'll see that we don't have any options yet here, that, but we shall be able to add them. Now lastly, we are going to set some calculations of the shipping price into our calculate shipping method. Now this particular method comes with a variable, we have our variable which is called package, and we need to pass it inside our calculate shipping method, and then we are going to edit what we have here, so we shall add in a rate, and then after we shall use this method of WooCommerce, which usually adds extra charges onto our checkout page, and what we are going to do is just add a cost of 1099, the label we shall have it as this title, so that means it will go to the construct, and look for the title, so this will appear with this cost, and then we can calculate the tax basing on each item, and then we shall register this rate, and we'll be good to go, so let me save this, and then I'm going to come to our checkout, and refresh this here, and now we're going to see that we have a shipping method that is actually here, and this shipping method will add $10.99, and if we look at our total of our shipping, where we had $1,000 as our subtotal, if we add on the 1099, we have 1099, that's how we add an extra shipping method inside of our WooCommerce.